In this lecture, we are going to write a program to read and write data to a file character by character. So in the program, I am going to use a file pointer, which will be used to read and write contents to a file. Especially it will be used to open the file first. I am using a character array where user will be specifying the file name, which he wishes to open. And here I'm asking user to enter the file name and it will be stored at address location of F name. Then I'm using function F open to which first parameter is F name. That is our file name and the second parameter is file mode because we want to write content to a file we are going to open that file into write mode function f open returns either address location of this file or it will return me null if file does not exist so in the next line we are checking whether f is equal to equal to null so as i told earlier if file exists then fp will be pointing to that file and if file does not exist then a new file will be created and fp will start pointing to that file but if there are issues like no disk space or any other reason then f open will Field and in that case f open will return me a null pointer so if this condition is true then that will mean that file did not exist yet and also the compiler was not able to create a new file so we can simply print file not created and we can exit the program now let's assume that file was created and then we start writing into the file so we are just going to prompt user that enter text to write and we are also going to tell him that press enter to save and quit so after that i'm using a while loop where i'm writing ch is equal to get care not equal to slash n so this is a condition over here but whatever user enters that will be first stored into ch and the results of ch if ch is not slash n character then user can keep on printing the character on each successful true condition we are going to use put c so we are going to enter character into same file pointer as soon as user enters slash n so that will be received by get care and it will be stored into ch and if user has entered which is the next hand character that is slash n so this condition will be false and this while loop will be terminated there are multiple ways of writing this this is the most common method you can also write this same block as while one so one is treated as a true so it is technically an infinite loop so inside this you can write your get ch and put ch and you can also write your condition after get ch so this is alternate way but this is the most efficient way so once we come out of this while loop we are just going to print that data return successfully to the file and we are going to use f close we are going to close the file that we have opened now that we have written data successfully to a file let us try to open the same file and try to read the content and let us try to print it on the output screen so again i'm using fp and i'm going to use f open to open that file in read mode this time if fp is equal to is equal to null that means file did not exist it so we can print that cannot open the file and we can exit the program but as we have created the file in the previous function itself the file will be present as we are using the same file name so in the next printf statement i am printing content of the file and in the next line i am going to write while loop and i am going to again read character by character but this time from the file so in the previous function we were using get care to receive users input from the keyboard and here we are reading character from the specified file so fp is our file pointer so wherever the current cursor is present from that cursor location a character will be read and it will be stored into ch if the current character is not equal to end of file that means we have not yet reached at the end of the file so till the time we don't reach to eof we can keep on printing ch which we have read using this function and it will print it as a percent c so on your output screen this file loop will print all the data from your file till we reach eof and once we reach eof this condition will become false and while loop will be completed and after that we can close that file safely using f close and will provide file pointer so that is how we have used our readily available function f open f close get care get ch to read and write contents to a file i'm sure that you have understood this concept clearly but before we move on to the next lecture i strongly encourage you to write this program by yourself so you get to know that how files are operated using functions that are available in c language so that will also make your understanding clearer for how we can access files and perform operations to the files